expand fellowships into other areas in industry? So I think there's a couple ways we can approach, you know, with the rising interest in fellowships and to get PharmDs into industry, it is important to try and increase the number of fellowships available to students that are interested. So I think from a fellows perspective, there's a lot we can do as fellows and then as PharmDs as well. So like we've kind of talked about, it's been growing, you know, the various departments that PharmDs can be involved in. So it's important to show your value as a PharmD, but also in team meetings, showing your value as a fellow, what you have to offer, um, the skill sets that you leave school with. It's very important to demonstrate that to not only other PharmDs that you work with, but also non-PharmDs, because you never know you, when you might really speak to somebody and all of a sudden they want, to, they want their own fellow in their department. So at Cubist, we, um, we started with one fellow in medical information, um, and we now, this incoming class will have 10 fellows between uh, medical affairs and clinical research, um, and that's over a five-year period of time. What we're finding is that um, as soon as people get to know the fellows, um, see what they're capable of, um, I, we just recently had an acquisition, so now we have an office in San Diego. Just this week, the Vice President of Clinical Research in San Diego said, I'd like to mentor a fellow here. And so now it's, it's expanding even, even greater at, at Cubist. And, um, I, I think one of the things that when, when you talk about fellowships and just industry pharmacy overall, what we're doing at Cubist, and I know other MCP is doing the same thing, is every opportunity we, we have to go out to job fairs, whether it's in California, Indianapolis, um, any place that we have a, a connection to, we, we are using that as an outreach, not only for our fellowship program, but to talk about what are the opportunities uh, for fellows, um, fellows in industry as well as pharmacists in industry. So a, as uh, stated earlier, I have um, a number of direct reports that work for me and not all of them came the fellowship route. Um, a majority of them did not come the fellowship route. And so um, there, there are opportunities within fellowships, but you don't need to do a fellowship. I think um, for individuals that can't do a fellowship or residency, I mean, there's other opportunities out there. Uh, just over the last uh, year, I ran across two individuals that, uh, one individual is actually working a retail pharmacy for about four or five years and uh, approached me and said, how can I get my foot in the door with industry? And was really interested in sort of the drug information route. And that was actually one of the, the, the most fruitful way of, uh, of an individual getting into industry because uh, drug information is a position where pharmacists are valued the most. Uh, majority of the drug information departments are staffed by PharmDs or ph by pharmacists. So he, he interviewed for that position and was able to secure it. Um, another route is a lot of industries have contractor positions. So you could actually sign up for uh, a six-month contract or a one-year contract position where um, at the end of that contract, they may or may not have a job, but at least you're able to secure that experience that you need if fellowship is something that you can't do.